Hello everybody, I am Mr. Bob Daisy and today we are playing Firewatch, a new game on Steam and uh, I believe on PS4, but I'm not entirely sure, I didn't really look into that. Um, it's a first person mystery game set in Wyoming and uh, let's get started, find out what it's all about. It's, uh, I like the uh, cell shading um, design, the, yeah, design whatever um always been a big fan of that kind of thing so um i'm very excited to see where it goes panic incorporated 1975 You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing well dressed with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> so what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> it's pretty good. Was that a burn, you asked? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Do you moving fast? Brr. What is this? Hero. Put that on. Oh my god, I have a whole body. Uh, that must be mine. Get in the truck. Oh. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. What? You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking a dog. It's badass. Uh, Shepherd, name him Mayhem. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring around to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. <clears throat> 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the hate still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Couple little idiots. One day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? One day. Okay, one day. She says, six months later, you get engaged lying, engaged, engaged, engaged lying in a bed on a Sunday morning. That sounds delightful. <coughs> Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. <laughs> It's a very beautiful game with uh, the shading, the cell shading, and this guy walks weird. Oh. 1980, it's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're getting worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. 
1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like Victoria's Secret model. Yes. Very nice. We. Ooh, it's sunset now. Wonderful. Look out for the branches. <clears throat> Very good sound to the game. Eight more miles still. Oh, man. Oh, come on, man. Could just jump that. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, damn. Mayhem runs away. Mate, meet, move, fuck, d -d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, maybe. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks you to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get way laid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate's department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. <laughs> Convince her not to take the job. You tell her that it means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if, she asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, bullshit, but she decides not to take it. Thanks. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost an on-call leave for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You make macaroni and drink on drive for you. Talk to someone about it, come on. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, you're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Keep it a secret for now. This is just going bad. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to see that. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and, you and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affection gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Someday you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Wow. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. This is just going downhill, man. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Danielle, the nurse. He's Daniel, not Danielle, Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Um, I feel like with this kind of pass, you try to do it yourself. That was weird. <laughs> it like wouldn't let me move my mouse. Just kept looking down. I'm so sad. Ew. Better walk along the wall the log the log. I don't know how to speak. Ooh. Hello. Bye. <laughs> It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook 
cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay out for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball during, in the winter, drinking then too. Wow. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Chair. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you're stopped at DUI checkpoint. You blow a dot ten and are taken to the jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julie's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. When they tell you Julie is coming to live with them, you don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Oh. Is it real game time? I hope so. Yup. Enter the lookout tower. Okay. <laughs> it lights up red when I look at it. Uh, da, 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 da. Very nice looking game. Nice shadows, good shading. Nice sound too, if you guys are watching the video. Make sure you turn up your sound a little bit. If you have headphones, definitely plug those in. Uh, you can hear the crickets and all sorts of cool stuff. Open that up. Turn on the power. Bam. I like how I just punched it. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, hello. What? Where did that come from, though? Oh. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh my god, shut up. Hold left shift to activate radio. Hello. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Panko. That's a great idea. Man. Cut. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mom, nobody back home can stand you. You're rebelling against okay. mom. Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, mm. but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me, I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second, now it's my turn. Oh. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe he doesn't throw you very far. Really like trees. Maybe it's. Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish, a tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was very abrupt. I thought I was gonna like put the thing down. Yeah. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably mm. slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. Man, that hike puts man, everyone man, out of commission man. for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you I'm see staring it? at it. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, what? invented in 1914 by W.B. 
Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, five. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to. Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wait, where? What? 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 Are those fucking fireworks? What? Oh, N to use compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? No. Oh, wait, no, I don't see fireworks. Seriously, oh, are yep. you seeing this? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Nah. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <sighs> like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? <laughs> no, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. We feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Nah. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Okay. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, good. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> Why did he do that? Oh, I run so fast. Or walk so fast, or whatever. Okay. M to read map. Wow. So... Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to go this way. Which way am I looking? That way. Oh, I want to go... What the fuck? Don't want to go this way. Why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell me? Is there like a that? Oh, so I want to go west. Wait, yes, 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 west, 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 west. Okay, we'll go west. <clears throat> I think I can actually. Here are some of the fireworks now. Yeah, I can hear them. Okay, that makes more sense now. Um, so yet again, another game that I'm playing that doesn't have a real map. Oh, uh, actually, more of a map. Fair enough. Um, well, yeah, you don't run, walk, move very fast. I guess you are kind of like a middle-aged fat man, so... Brr. I wonder what I'm going to do when I see these guys. We're going to find out. Hey. Hey, oh. Supply crate. Open. One. Two, three, oh, fucking dicks. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, hello. What is this? Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bar things you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Okay. Calm down. Mer. Deal with whoever's setting off fireworks. Ooh, granola bar. Nom 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 nom. Copy information. Match updated. Close. Okay, bye. Wait. Oh, that's the note, apparently. I threw that in the bushes. Uh, okay. I don't know where I'm going. Ah, we'll figure it out. I think 
said something about Jonesy Lake. So let's try going this way. Oh, damn, that was close. Wait. Where are they coming from? This vista is incredible. Yes. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for oh. the past hour. <laughs> Oh joy. Toggle running again, jogging, whatever. We do move so much quicker this way. I'm surprised chubby guy can run this quick. Aha, we're going the right way. We're gonna catch these criminals. <laughs> Ooh, rope hook. Attach rope to hook. Attach... Okay, it's steep. Oh! <laughs> okay. Repel. Oh, 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 no. Ooh. That's not good. Oh, I still have the wedding ring on. Duh. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale oh, slide. Damn. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Hey, there's a tie-off point up mm -hmm. here just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down oh. to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Oakley doakley. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. Mm -hmm. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Oh, damn. Beer can. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. What happens if I... Aw. He cleaned it up. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Fireworks. Confiscate. Well, they left their clothes on um, dry. Looks da, like, da, uh, da, da, uh, what if they're naked? They totally are. That'd be exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Come here, you sons of bitches. I'ma come on get ya. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny mm. dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? Oh my god. Fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Asshole. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out Okay. 
They're not wrong. Can I steal this? You know what? This is fucking mine now. Assholes. This is my boombox. No! I want my boombox. I'm taking this all the way back. This is my fucking boombox. or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Oakley Doakley. Oh, I can't pull up the map because, uh, you know, I have their boombox. I don't care. I don't care. Uh... Oh, okay. Um. Get out of here. So what did she say? Head north? Oh, I can just go this way, I think. Mm, no. Yes, no, yes. Nope. Yes. No, did I lose it? No, yes. Ha ha. I don't know where to go. Where? Oh. Um. Oh. Uh, go back towards the lake and go up to Thunder Canyon and then cut down, maybe. That's what we're gonna have to try. Where's my boombox? Thanks. Climb up. <laughs> this song is kind of annoying, but I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Dun 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 dun. Of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm lying to you. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Oh god. <laughs> Punch those teenage girls. Bear. Uh da -da 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 -da. Two Forks Fire Lookout. Perfect. This guy is a trooper. I got my boom box. We're just Trudging along here, gonna make it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I really hate this song, actually. I really wish there was a way to like skip songs. I'm taking it back though. This is mine now, for forever. Do I go up this? Roll the boombox. Is it gonna play the same song? I swear to god. Totally is. So I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the um, job. Yeah, well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about the uh, way you're out dun, here and stuff. Dun, dun, dun. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, 
love life, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Oh, uh, I don't get to report thunder now. Okay. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Hello. Oh. What is this for? Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. <laughs> in the boxes? Why that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deal. Oh, uh, ow. Firstly, they're called antlers. And I'm gonna secondly, copy this information. Um, do I get to do anything with it? No, okay. Back to my boombox. What's in this cave down here? Uh, in Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Hello? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without <laughs> getting the keys from the forest okay. service office first. Makes sense. Although Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so oh, maybe Jesus. the mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. Would be really nice to pick that back up. Well, too bad. Fond memories, huh? Good job. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold hey. Your breath. Oh my god. Fucking fuck that boombox. Fuck it. We're not taking the boombox. It just keeps playing the same damn song. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, oh, oh. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my god, is it done yet? Please be done. Holy shit, that was annoying. Okay. I want to get back to the tower before I have to end the video. Uh, which so far we are pushing the time limit on this one. Let's see if we can get back, you know. Okay. Maybe, please. Yes? No? Yes? Where? Okay. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Alright, so that is all the time that we have today because I really was pushing the clock on that one. Um, if you guys like the video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know of games you would like to play. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.